Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll see how to divide a proper fraction by a whole number. So let's take a proper fraction. Let's take a proper fraction like three quarters or three fourths. And what we want to do is divide it by a whole number, say the number three. And we want to find out what that gives us. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take three fourths of something and divide it among, say, three people. Okay. So let's take, for example, a pizza, actually three fourths of a pizza. So what we do is we take a pizza and what we have is only three quarters of this pizza, okay? So I'm going to cut this up into four pieces. And what we have got is only three pieces, right? So that means we've got only, let's see, we don't have this piece over here, right? So let me erase this or actually use dotted lines just to show that we don't have this piece. So what we don't have is this one piece over here. Okay, this is what we don't have. And what we do have is we have these three pieces. We have this one over here, this one over here, and this one over here. Okay, so these three pieces is three fourths of the pizza. Okay, so what we have is we have three quarters of this pizza. And what we also have is we have three friends. Okay, and what these three friends do is they share three quarters of this pizza okay and what we want to find out is if three friends share three quarters of this pizza then how much pizza does each friend get okay so what we want to find out is what is three quarters divided by three okay now we have three pieces okay what we said is we have three slices of the pizza so we've got three slices and we've got three friends so it's quite easy we have three slices and we have three friends so obviously each friend gets one piece or one slice of the pizza. So what each friend gets is one slice. Okay, let's write that down. What each friend gets is one slice of the pizza. But what we want to actually find out is what is this one slice equal to in terms of the pizza or what fraction of the pizza is this one slice? Okay, so what we want to find out is what fraction does this guy over here represents? Okay, this is one slice. So what fraction of the pizza is this one guy over here equal to? Or this one guy over here equal to? Okay. Or this one guy over here is equal to? So we have three friends and we have three slices. So what we want to find out is how much fraction of the pizza did each get? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward. What we had was we had one whole pizza and we cut it up into four slices. So if there are four slices in each pizza, then one slice is nothing but equal to one out of the four slices, right? So this slice is equal to one out of the four slices. Then this slice is also equal to one out of the four slices. And so is this slice. This slice is also equal to one out of the four slices. So your one slice is nothing but equal to one out of four slices. So the fraction of the pizza that each friend got, each of the three friends got, was one out of four slices or one quarter or one fourth. But let's uh, find that out mathematically, okay? So let's do some calculation and find out what that is equal to mathematically, okay? So what we had was we had three quarters of a pizza. And what we did was we divided it among three friends. Now, Dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 upon 3. So when you say that you want to divide 3 quarters by 3, what you're actually saying is you want to multiply 3 quarters by 1 upon 3. Now it's fairly easy to do the multiplication, right? Actually, before doing the multiplication, how about we do some simplification? Okay, so we simplify this, uh, this statement here, 3 quarters times 1 upon 3. Now we know that 3 and 3 can cancel out, right? Okay, so what do you get after cancelling out? What we get is 1 times 1, okay, this 1 times this 1, which is equal to 1, and this 4 times 1 is to four. So there you go. Three quarters divided by three gives you one fourth, one out of four, which is the same as this over here, one out of four or one fourth, one slice. All right. So that's how you do three quarters divided by three, which means that you have three fourths of a pizza and you want to divide it among three friends. But what instead of three, if you have to divide it among six friends this time? Okay. Let's see what will happen then. Okay. All right, so what I'm saying is I've got the same pizza as before, which means I've got three fourths of a pizza. And this time, instead of dividing it among three friends, what I do is I divide it among 
six friends and I want to find out how much each of the friends get. So I want to find out what is three quarters divided by six equal to. All right, all right, let me get rid of all these arrows here. All right, so what we've got is we've got the same amount of pizza as before, but what has changed is now we have six friends instead of three, which means we have double the number of friends. So can we give one slice to each of the friends now? Well, we cannot because we have only three slices and we have double the number of friends. So how about we cut up the pizza further? So let's cut up the pizza further. Let's say we cut up the pizza now into eight slices instead of four slices. Okay, so we cut up the pizza into eight slices. Now let's see if it's possible to give one slice to each of the friends. Okay, so what we have is we have these slices over here, two yellow, two blue, and two green. Okay, so two yellow, two blue, and two green means we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six slices. Well, now we have six slices and we have six friends. So we can give this small slice over here to friend number one, then this slice over here to friend number two, this one to friend number three, this to friend number four, this to friend number five, and this to friend number six. So we can still divide three quarters among six friends, but what each of the friends gets now is the smaller slices, this smaller slice. So what you want to find out now is what fraction of this entire pizza is this one slice equal to, okay? So now what is this one slice equal to? Well, previously we saw that each slice was equal to one fourth of the pizza when the pizza was divided among three friends. But now when the pizza is divided among six friends, when the same amount of pizza is divided among six friends, then how much will each of the friends get? Or what is the size or what is the fraction of the pizza that each slice represents, okay? So what you want to find out is how much is this one slice over here equal to what fraction of the pizza is this one slice equal to, okay? So let's uh, do some calculations here, okay? So what we saw was we cut the pizza into eight slices. Well, if the pizza is cut into eight slices, then obviously one slice is nothing but one out of the eight slices. So the fraction of the pizza that one slice represents is nothing but one eighth, okay, or one upon eight. Okay, now let's prove that mathematically. So what we have is we have three quarters, which you want to divide among six friends. Now we said previously that dividing by six is the same as multiplying by one upon six. So what we do is we multiply three quarters by one upon six. Now let's simplify this. So what we do is three and six get cancelled out to give you 1 and 2, okay? We divide both 3 and 6 by 3. So 3 when divided by 3 gives you 1 and 6 when divided by 3 gives you 2. Now we do the multiplication. So what we have now is we want to multiply 1 times 1, okay? So 1 times 1 will give you 1 upon 4 times 2, which will give you 8. So what you have is each of the friends will get 1 eighth of the pizza. And that's the same as this one eighth over here, which is what we got from the diagram. So one slice in this case is equal to one eighth, while in the previous case, it was equal to one fourth. All right, so that's that about this lesson. I hope you understood what I taught, and I hope that now you'll go back and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect. So for practice problems, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M. Signing off for now. Bye-bye.